Hey guys, it's David. We're back here with Steven at Habilis. I'm sorry, what was the rest of the name? Habilis Bush Tools. And I'm really excited about what I saw here at Blade Show. And uh, I, just, I just really kind of connected with this bro and he's done some great work. Now, we did another video on the bush tool itself here, and then Steven pulled his bush tool and his uh, leather sheath off of his belt, and that gave me goosebumps too. So I asked him, this is our second video, so if you haven't seen uh, the video of the bush tool, go back and uh, take a look at that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna specifically take a look at his uh, survival setup on his personal bush tool and we're just going to talk through that a little bit. So, Stephen, show us uh, sure. what you got. Oh, here it is. I've got okay. it right here. Uh, basically, they're again just adding elements that will make survival easier. The, and the other thing that I wanted to do is really incorporate the things that are more difficult to either make or find in the wild. Yeah. So, yep. starting with that, fire is one of the most essential things you'll ever do in the outdoors. So we do have our fire rod, which we co-designed with Exotech Industries. Nice. So. So here's a, here's the basic. So this is this is what what you get. Mm -hmm, that's the basic. And sheet. so so you built you built in the the leather uh, sheath element mm -hmm. for the fire steel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and this uh, the fire steel. Oh, so it's just gonna, it just kind of clips right around there to mm -hmm. stay in. That's yeah, nice. We use a bungee cord to hold it in place. You surprise me. Every you surprise <laughs> me with all your little innovations here. But it'll hold enough tinder to do about seven to ten fires according to how generous or stingy you are with your tender. Nice. Uh, the tender that I use is a uh, cotton ball with our gear wax worked into it. Gear wax is a, it's a candle wax base with uh, some essential oils and regular oils nice. in it. Nice. So it works as an accelerant and other things also, but really good at lighting fires. Also the unique thing about our fire rod versus some of the others is that the rod is removable so it's replaceable. That way you can keep your handle forever that's Maybe awesome. every 10 years you got to spend five dollars to replace the ferro awesome. rod. Okay. Uh, so you designed awesome. that with Exotech, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. We were doing a version of it, and Rob does only fire, so it was a natural. It was a good match. We're both Georgia companies. We we really like working together. They've been great for us, and hopefully they've been great for them. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, okay, good. here again. Great thing about Blade Show, we get to build relationships with people here. Yep. I've got a little folding saw here. I uh, use that usually just to fine tune trap triggers if I'm doing a figure four trap. Yep. Can you take uh, that out and just show oh, the guys? Yeah. 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 And, uh, so you've got you've got that. That's right, built right into the sheath too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's just held there by tension. Yep. And it's a small saw that can cut wood, metal, bone. Uh, there again, if you're ever doing bone work, it's nice to have a little Very saw. Nice. Uh, I do have a companion knife that we call the Nomadic Hunter. Is this your knife? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we make these. So in the guys house. can get this. What? Maybe. Uh, what's the price? And uh, the uh, Nomadic is uh, seventy-nine dollars. Okay. For everything on mine set up this way, it's right at three hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay. For the bush tool and all. For, for like a lifetime worth of ready to go. Exactly. No everyday that, carry, whatever. Yes, sir. You know? Yeah. No, knowing that your security is on your belt. But, uh, Very nice. Gonna, so this comes with the paracord. Mm -hmm. on How much paracord do you got on it? Uh, there's about six feet on one, nice. mm -hmm. and it, it's done as a copra wrap, like okay. you see it. I have a Smith sharpener on here. I did cut mine down just because I like to go as light as possible. Uh, but basically, I just you cut the thumb section out. Of it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just one of the draw-through sharpeners. The thing I like about these is it has the diamond sharpening rod. And uh, I don't really use the diamond that much, but I use this to untie knots all the time. It's one of the handiest things on my rig, really. Uh, I've never thought about using that mm -hmm. for that. That's, that's um, great. And this is just, I took an ink pen, like a big ink pen, okay. cut a tube out of it and wrapped it with uh, waxed linen thread. That way if I need to repair a canvas tarp, a piece of a backpack or something, okay. I've always got some good thread on hand. Nice. Uh, and I do have a cell needle also to, to use that with. Uh, nice thing about a cell needle is they're sharp and triangular shape, so they'll self-cut their way through leather, canvas, whatever, so you don't have to have an awl first and then come back with a needle. Nice. Uh, I do have a small LED light just as a backup. Uh, sometimes when I'm working around the campfire or whatever, 
I don't need the headlamp necessarily, and that gives me just enough light to do what I'm working on. Yeah. I do keep a small piece of fat wood back here just because I'm from Georgia and we've got it everywhere. Can you just tell the guys what fat yeah. wood is? Fat yeah. wood is uh, actually the heart of a dead pine tree. It's when all of the sap gets pulled back into a dead stump and it basically creates a turpentine so resin wood. So you can shave it off, it'll catch a spark and actually turn into a flame. Uh, you can add it to a fire and it's like pouring gasoline over Yeah, that's nice. I saw Dave, Dave Canterbury's video. Oh yeah, that one that's is that. one of the best things yeah. if you're building a fire, and especially yeah. in rainy weather. Uh, and we get it more than our fair share of humidity here. <laughs> uh, I keep a roll of snare wire also. I have three arrowhead blanks so that if I you need sell to... sell those and everything too? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. well, Can you pull those out? Yeah. Let me grab one over. Okay. Yeah, they're actually made by Stephen Steele. Uh, they're a company that's based up in Ohio, I believe, uh, but they make them out of banding steel, so they're very springy, very tough, easy to sharpen in the field. I don't pre-sharpen mine because I keep the Smiths in about 15 good draws and it's razor sharp. Oh, nice. But that way it's safer since safer it's in my belt. Safer in there. It's a great idea. And I do hold those together with about six inches of uh, duct tape. Okay. Just, can you, since it's all held in with tension. It it's, just, yeah. Yeah. It's but, tight. Uh, Okay. It's just a small piece of orange duct tape. Okay. I like yeah. orange for, I can use it for trail markers and things. Just if I'm going somewhere I'm not used to, I can mark it myself and not be that guy. Right, not, not walk around <laughs> in circles all you day. You won't see me on the news. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, see my picture on the news where they're telling you what happened to me. And down here I've got a gut hook multi-tool. Okay. Uh, there again, it's just a traditional gut hook, but it does have a bottle opener, a screwdriver, a couple of small wrenches on it. Can you sell that too? Yes. Okay, uh, everything. Okay. And uh, I just dropped Here, I'm going to grab you another yeah. one. I know a, what you dropped. P51 can opener. Okay, awesome. Uh, and there again, just, it's ridiculous how many times you end up at a gathering or a rendezvous and everybody has canned food and nobody has a can opener. I know. And uh, we, we, we used to call those John, tool, John Wayne's. Is, oh, yeah. Did you guys call those John Wayne's? Do you ever? No, mm -hmm. it was just a Marine Corps thing, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, nice, very nice. And that is that's it. The end of it. So that's a so that then it's a, a belt carry. So you got a belt loop on the back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. A, uh, nice. Actually, the sheath comes with a dangler. If okay. you like to wear them lower, you can. Okay. I prefer to wear mine high and tight to my body where it doesn't catch on underbrush. Yeah. Uh, nice. So I cut the dangler off and just. Okay. Now you have really shiny. Shiny bolts there. Any mm -hmm. good? Any good reason for those? Honestly, just my sheath maker uses them. It, okay. It really, no, <laughs> no particular thing. Okay. Uh, honestly, I didn't know if like they were uh, survival reflectors or anything like that. I'm sure you could use it for that. <laughs> we could sit here all day and find things to use things for. <laughs> but uh, but honestly, I, I really it's just he sends them okay, that way. Cool. And uh, since I'm not in the tactical aspect of it. Yeah. No one seems to mind the shiny hardware. Nice, nice. I mean, I've seen a couple of guys who have taken black, black sure. fur touch-up paint and do theirs, but I just, I'm old. If I drop something, I want to be able to find it, and yeah. shiny things help me. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then the knife stays in the sheath. What is it, a Velcro carrot? It's, it's a snap, right? Mm, uh, from okay. from us, it comes with the snap. It's a snap, okay. Uh, I did have one of my friends make a cut X. Oh, okay. Retention oh, I see. Mine. Okay. Uh, so if somebody buys the whole kit, then it would come with a snap. It will come with the okay. snap, yeah. I'd, All right. I may eventually offer this. We just haven't made a deal on it. I'm kind okay. of evaluating it now. Sure. Okay, so the whole package here is, would you say, around three? Around 345. So people can come online and they can say, hey, I want the whole thing just like your, mm -hmm. well, uh, your the, deal? The knives are online. The fire rod is online. If you want a full setup like mine, just email me. Okay. And We'll get all your color choices. I want a full setup. Do I need to email you? I want a full setup. Yeah, like that way I have the writing <laughs> that you did choose an orange <laughs> fire rod. You can't say, no, I want a gun stock. <laughs> but absolutely, we we build about two of these a month. Okay. People see them online. I shipped one to Denmark four weeks ago. Okay. And uh, he's in love with his. It's, and there's also one of the Pathfinder instructors, actually the master instructor, uh, carries a rig just like this. Okay. Just his colors are different than mine, so, so we can tell them apart. So you're connected with Dave Canterbury a little yes. bit? Like, can Absolutely. you just, like, 30 sure. seconds or so just tell a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, actually, we did our first blade show. I was a brand new knife maker, had really just started. Uh, of course, I worked years on designing the knife. Yeah. We got down here, 
Dave was just kind of shopping us. He came by a couple of times. I finally gave him the spill, and he just really it came across. He knew I knew what I was talking about. So we hit it off. Uh, his wife liked us. It was almost like we were family from day one, and they've treated us that way ever since. We uh, he evaluated the knife in South America the first week. Gave me a call as soon as we got back, and we've been working together ever since. Okay. So does he, does he sell the knife too? Or yes, he... uh, actually, all of the Havilah's products can either be linked over, or there are several that they keep in stock. And then there's okay. two products that I make exclusively for them. That are okay. I make a frontier style trade knife and a frontier style butcher that they're selling. Yeah, I'm sure those are equally as awesome as they're. This. They're doing really Spend well. Spend some time on those too. Uh, huh? Oh yeah, we. Yeah. Uh, and that's a nice thing too is. I have my own mentality, but I have access to so many people who, like me, live it all the time. Yeah. I mean, there's five Pathfinder instructors who carry my products, and there again, I get feedback constantly. Usually, it's funny little things, not a design issue, just yeah. a, yeah. why don't you make this knife in my color <laughs> hands like, or right. yeah. things like yeah. that. But, That's awesome. But we, we've been fortunate. They've been very good to us. and. The way things turned out with them, just everything going so smooth, it tells me I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Well, Steven, it's been a real pleasure, well, I bro. I appreciate you, absolutely. Yeah, thank, yeah. thank you so much. This is a beautiful product, and I just, I'll put, again, I'll put links in the video description down below uh, on YouTube, so you can link right to Steven's gear, and uh, you know, this is a kind of a family-run business, so you'll probably get him, right? They'll probably Absolutely. get you. Yeah. You'll, if they email, they'll get me. If they call, they'll get my wife. Yeah. Uh, my phone doesn't deal except well when, with metal except dust. Except when you're out in the so, woods, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll get back to them. Actually, <laughs> I, in the woods behind my house, I have great reception. So <laughs> if I'm in mine... That's awesome. You'll get me, but yeah. absolutely. And Thank, I appreciate thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. For your convenience, I've included links to Stephen's knife, survival sheath, and website, hablessbushtools.com, in the video description on YouTube. And check out my first interview with Stephen, where he'll show us one of the coolest survival knives I've ever seen. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.